running ads on Google and you want to hire a Google Ads agency to manage your Google Ads campaigns, you will come to this crossroad where you have to provide access to your account to that agency, to that PPC agency, right? So how do you give access, whether or not you should give access or let them create the Google Ads account for you is what we will cover today. So number one, should you create your own account or should you use their account? So the decision is super, super simple and it's a no brainer that Google Ads account must be created and owned by you. Why this is the case? This is because Google Ads performance history, all the ads that you run on your account, all the money that you spend on your account and all the clicks and the conversions and all of that that happens within the account builds a performance history. And that performance history dictates how your campaigns will perform in future. As learning improves, the performance of the campaigns improve. What if you were to part ways with that agency that you are working with now, that you are going to work with now, and they said, sorry, we can't give you access to our Google Ads account. It is the account that we created and we own. This is our intellectual property. We will not give it give access to you. If you want to walk away from us, you know, create a new account by yourself. We will not give you any access. This is not an exaggerated case. This is something that happens all the time with clients who are gullible, unsuspecting of these outcomes, right? When you are signing up with an agency, they might give you lots of reasons why uh, you know, they should create the account or you should let them create the account. They will say they will give you 60 days credit line, which, which means you don't pay for the ads. Now you pay for the ads 60 days later. In reality, that 60 days credit line is from Google, not from them. And if you are a reputed business, you can apply for that credit line directly from Google. You don't have to go through them. They might say that, you know, it's easier for us to manage the account if it is created by us. That's all nonsense. You can create the account by yourself and give them access and that should be all fine. Give the manager access, let them manage the campaigns. So the answer is very, very simple and it's a no brainer. If you are a business owner, you should be the Google Ads account owner as well, period, right? So do not ever fall for an agency that says they will create the account for you and they will give you XYZ uh, regions to do so. Now, once you have decided that the account should be created by you, owned by you, and it is your intellectual property, how do you give access to the other agency, the agency that is working with you to, to be able to, for them to manage your campaigns, right? So here is how you do it. So this is the new interface. I wanted to create this video using the new interface because it's anyways going to be the case you know if you are using google ads sooner than later google is already enforcing this new interface so you better be familiar with this one okay so log into google ads account and then on the left hand side you will see these tabs right and go to admin and once you go to admin here on the left you will see this access and security so go to this access and security and you will see three levels of access users two levels actually the third one is security so user access user access is when you want to invite somebody by uh, you know adding their email to the to your google ads account and that's very straightforward click the hit by, uh, hit the plus button enter their email and access choose when the access ex expires it can be for a particular period or it can never expire and here are the levels of access you should give so email only, if you don't want, if, it, if it's an employee uh, person who manages the billing or whatever, you just want them to receive the email notifications. That is the first level. Billing, when you some, want somebody to manage the billing for your account. Uh, by the way, the billing should be also managed by you. And that is the key reason why this account belongs to you. So always make sure, try and manage the billing. Pay for Google Ads directly to Google. Billing should be in your control, just like the account. Read-only access, for example, if you are inviting somebody to audit the account, give them read-only access to start with. This way, they can't make any changes in your account. 
they can only see what's going on they will have complete access but only to read not to make changes so if you have not decided to work with a partner give them read only access standard access is the access level which you know which can give them access to make changes as well so if it is an agency or an employee you can give them uh, standard access there is also the admin level access which i don't have access to this right now because this client this is a client's account and they have given us only standard access they have actually given us manager access we, we don't have this access but you will get to see the admin access as well and i don't think you should give the admin access to your agency unless they have a very specific reason uh, why they are asking which could be that they want to link some account in which case you should hop on a call with them and do the linking yourself do not give them admin access there is no reason to do, do so uh then there is this manager ac account so a lot of agencies uh, most agencies actually like us like this is guided ppc right so what we do is we create a manager account under which we can link multiple client accounts and we can manage them from one single interface and it's totally okay to give manager access to an agency right because it's easy for them you don't have to use different logins or you know uh switch through different accounts they can just use one login manager login and they can manage it from there so the manager access is little bit slightly different to be able to give manager access you can't add their email this is a tricky part right and in that case they will ask you to give the customer id that agency will ask you for the customer id and your customer id is id is here so this is the account and that 10 digit id is the customer id that you have right so get this customer id 10 digit id give it to the agency they will send you an invite and once the invite comes it will come under the manager tab remember by default when you log in you go to the user tab if you want to see their invite go to the manager tab and then you will see their invite and then approve the access like we have got access to this account right uh, there is one more thing sometimes you would run into an issue Uh, for example we got access to our email as well here by the way and when there is a new domain name that this email is built on that domain name needs to be added in the security area before you can give them access so you see how allowed domains under the allowed domains there is this by default gmail and then they had to add our email so that they could give us access to our Uh, mcc at garyppc dot com email right so make sure uh, you know if they have a company email that they give you that domain name and you add that domain name here to give them access so just add the domain name and then you can invite them from here that is all so just to recap tldr you should always try to create the account and own the account yourself as well as the billing and give the agency access to read only if they are just auditing the account but if they have said you decided to work with them give them standard access through user or manager that's it hope this is helpful cheers oh i mean if you want to work with us give us access like i said send us the customer id reach out to us we are happy to take a look and work with you cheers bye